a late jar out here. A late jar, you're yeah. right. It's like three games in a row. <laughs> well, no, no, no. no. Just respect. respect. It was my respect. Budget, it's my budget. It's my I'll pay the fine. I'll make a little bit of a you're missing basically like 60 points tonight, and your other star player scored 60 last night and might not have any legs. Um, just what do you do in this situation where you're facing a back-to-back, -back, but also with up? We got, we got to do it again by committee, next guy up, and, and uh, it, it all it has to be collective. Like, we're not going to have a guy like Isaac come off the bench and give us 30, you know, or Orlando come in and give us 40, or it, it's, hey, whoever plays, um, they got to chip in just a little bit and not just in the scoring column, but crashing the glass, trying to beat your man down the floor to get an easy catch and shoot three or a layup, um, shifting the right way, getting three deflections, not giving up any offensive rebounds, you know, not sending guys to the free throw line and making the game easy for them. So. Uh, you know, we always talk about embracing the details, and tonight is going to be a huge night because we don't have uh, much room for slippage or error tonight. And uh, guys really have to take hold of that and believe in it. And and then you know the reality of it is, you, you know, you got Fox is going to have to score, Keegan's going to have to step up and score, Kevin's going to have to step up and score. That's the, the reality of the situation. I won't ask you your starting lineups, but uh, no Domas tonight. Alex got the start yesterday. Just what, what it went into that decision, and how do you feel like he uh, performed in those minutes, even though they were fairly limited? So, you know, we had to buy some time for sure with with uh, another big. Um, in game one, Julius kind of it was a little tough for us. He he got going, and him scoring thirty two was a Big difference in us losing that ball game, and so we felt trying to go big with Domas, and or I felt trying to go big with Domas and A. Lynn. Uh, why not take a look at it? And what it did was it allowed me to keep either Trey or Keegan uh, at the power forward because they play Rudy and Julius, or they play Nas and Julius, and I don't know if we have anybody on our roster outside of, of uh, you know, Domus is going to be on the floor, but he's going to have to come off every once in a while. But outside of Trey and Keegan, they can match up with Randall and Nas, you know, that we've, that we've played so far. Now, can Isaac? Maybe. Can Orlando? Maybe. Um, but I did I chose not to play them, but I chose to go with our two veterans and Keegan. And, and Trey, and so, and they're also trying to go small still because I think that small ball group is starting to evolve a little bit. And so, in order to do that, I had to buy some minutes someplace. And I said, hey, why not at the beginning of the game? Most times, you don't lose the game in the beginning. You know, everybody thinks you got to start your quote unquote best guys at the beginning. And I'm in this league too long to see teams jump out to a 10 point lead and, and not evaporate at some point in the game. So, uh, for me, it's more about trying to close the right way as opposed to start the right way. You start seeing, okay, does this work? Can it work? And if it does, it's like, oh, okay. Then we got another trick up our sleeve we can go to if need be. You start with guys that you think are your best players, and sometimes if that doesn't work, that's like, okay, where do we go from here? <laughs> so that's why I gave uh, – uh, a land an opportunity, and I, I, I thought it was okay. Uh, didn't think it was great. I definitely didn't think it was bad. Would I try it again in the future? Maybe. Yeah. If I could sneak two in, for yeah. sure. Uh, one, just on a, as a collective group, you're above the break three point shooting is both, I think, less attempts and making le much less than you did a year ago kind of universally across the board. Are they coming in a different manner than they did a year ago? Is this just Small sample size? Like, what's your thought on that? Yeah, and part of it is, you know, the rest of it is that we played a lot out of the DHO game our first two years, and Thomas had a lot, the ball in his hands a lot, and we shot a lot of threes behind that DHO, and usually those DHO threes are at the are above the break. Uh, you know, you add a guy like uh, 
uh, the march and the mix and you know uh, the balls will not in Domus's hands as much we're not playing DHO through Domus as much you know and so therefore uh, those attempts are probably going to go down a little bit and then on on top of that we haven't done a great job of touching the paint and spraying it and uh, whether it's off the dribble drive even sometimes with the roller catching in the pocket we're still kind of forcing the issue instead of when we feel a second guy coming whether it's off the dribble drive or the, the pocket we we'll that second guy can play off of two and spray it. We, we, we have to be better with that. And when you do uh, that at a high level, which we did, I thought, in the second half against Phoenix, that was probably our best half of it. Uh, we have great shooters that will get shots, whether it's in a corner or uh, above, above the break on a wing, because it's two on one, two on one in our advantage back there. And they got to pick their poison. Second, you run two unique things, the most handoffs of anyone in the league and then kind of most ISOs of DeMar, so you have neither of those tonight. <laughs> so do you go to a totally different offense? Do you try to run the exact same stuff you always run because that's what you guys practice, or what do you do tonight? Yeah, I mean, we, we're not going to abandon it, but uh, the reality of it is, <clears throat> you know, like I said, Fox is going to have to score, Kevin's going to have to score, Keegan's going to have to score, and so we got to try to put those guys in some situations where – uh, they have an opportunity to go get a bucket, and um, we will try to still do some DHOs, but uh, in the same breath, we're going to probably have to play some pick and roll. Uh, J-Mac has been good for us in the pick and roll situation, and so uh, he's going to have to have, I'm going to have to give him more freedom to go make plays and start that with the ball screen, but we just got to, and that's why I say we have to embrace the details because we just have to find a way to go get it done while having guys step up, not trying to do too much, but step up and make some, feel, feel the freedom to make some plays out there for themselves and or their teammates. And again, it depends on who the player is. J-Mac's probably best in a ball screen. Kevin can handle the ball in a pick and roll or in a DHO or off a pin down. And so we're gonna, we have enough stuff in our, in our bag to, to, to mix it up, I guess, so to say tonight. Mike, is there any indication, <clears throat> or does the, the performance staff have any idea of um, how long Domas could, could be out? I'm not. Okay. So yeah. for, for him, given how much he prides himself on, on his availability, was it was did was he itching to play? Was it was it kind of a close decision in terms of him playing versus versus giving more rest on it? Um, I just got the word he was out. So, but if you know more, do you know more? I don't. Yeah. Yeah, so I didn't, I didn't talk to him more. It was, it just, they just said he was out, so I said, okay. Coach Brown, uh, yeah. De'Aaron did play 45 minutes last night. I just want to know if you know, uh, you'll be paying attention or trying to scatter his minutes around in this game. Uh, he not only played big minutes, Domas played big minutes. I think Keenan played 40-something minutes. Um, yes, I'm, I'm going to try like the Dickens to – give those guys as much rest as possible. Um, we'll have tomorrow off, um, then we play Atlanta. Uh, there's a, I wasn't gonna give them the day off the following day, but I may have to, just because of the injuries that we have and the minutes that these guys are playing. So, um, yeah, I'd love to, but hopefully we can get a win tonight without overdoing it with those guys. Coach, with uh, Orlando Robinson available and having played last night in Stockton, what are you hoping to see from him in his first appearance with your club? Uh, you know, again, he's a guy that can score in the pocket a little bit. He's got some length. Um, doesn't have to do anything spectacular, but, uh, you know, uh, when and if he gets an opportunity, um, rebound, defend, run the floor. Uh, if you have an opportunity to score it, go ahead and score it. Uh, communicate. You know, doing all the little things that, uh, that I just talked about that are staples. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Thank you all. Thanks,